to another aspect of chemistry. This aspect we'll be talking about the elements. We'll be looking at the atomic number of the element, the proton number, the electron number, the neutron number, the mass number, and the nuclear number. Take note. If you are given an element like this, and it's as A here, that is Z. This A represents the mass number. And this Z here represents the atomic number or the proton number. Now, everybody take note, your, nu your mass number can also be known as nuclear number. Can also be known as nuclear number, not neutron, but nuclear number, nucleon. And at the same time, atomic number is the same thing as proton number. Yes, the same thing as proton number. But there is a case whereby atomic number is the same thing as proton number and at the same time as electron number. If your if the element is on charge, if the element is on charge, these three are the same. But if the element is charged, then it is only atomic number that will be equal to proton number. It will not be equal to electron number. So it will not be equal to electron number if it is charged. So because the charge on that element on that atom will affect the what the electron number so that is why it's not because of the electron number so it's not be equal to the electron number but atomic number will be cause proton number let us examine some if you have this oxygen oxygen is 816 like this so this is the atomic number so atomic number here is eight Let's see. The atomic number of this is 8. The proton number is also 8 because they are the same. The electron number will also be 8 because it does not have charge. The neutron number, how will you get the neutron number? Now note that mass number is equal to atomic number plus neutron number. So, mass number is equal to atomic number plus neutron number. So, if you want to get the neutron number, we now say neutron number is equal to mass number minus atomic number. So, if you want to get atomic number, atomic number can also be mass number minus neutron number. So, that is it. So, for us to get the neutron number here, we'll subtract the atomic number from the mass number. That will be 16 minus 8. That's 8. And our mass number here is there, which is 16. In which we have the nuclear number to also be the same thing as what? As mass number. So it's still what? 16. Next one. What if you have 16, 8, or 2 minus like this? Now if you have this case, the atomic number is 8. The proton number is also 8. The electron will not be 8. The electron number will not be 8. The electron number will not be 8. The electron number will be affected by the word, by the charge here. And take note, in chemistry, minus, in chemistry, minus means gain, and plus means loss. So that means, minus means gain, and plus means loss. This is opposite of what you have in your mathematics. So if minus means gain, and plus means loss, that shows that for this O2 minus, it's as the atomic number to be is, but it's going to gain two more because minus means gain. It's going to gain two more. That makes the electron number here to be 10. And neutron number will be we, we is constant, which is mass number minus the atomic number, which is 16 minus 8, that's T8. Mass number here is obvious to be 16. And nuclear number is the same thing as mass number, which is what? Which is 16. Let's look at another one. If you have uranium, uranium you have. 92 as the atomic number here, and you have 2, you have 238 here. Let us examine this. We want to examine this. 
Uranium here, it has the atomic number to be 92. The, the proton number to also be 92 because they are the same here. Neutron number will also be 92 because it does not possess any charge. The three are equal if it does not possess any charge. Neutron number will be mass number minus what? Minus your atomic number. Mass number minus atomic number 2, 38 minus 92. So that should give us 146. This should give us 146. We also have the mass number, which is obvious here to be 238, and the nuclear number to also be 238. That's it. Let's do the next one. Next one is chlorine. If you have the chlorine minus here, you have the 17, you have 35 here. Let's see this. Chlorine, the atomic number will be 17, obvious here. Proton number here will also be 17, obvious, because they are the same thing here. Neut electron number will not be 17, because this one has charge. So, and don't forget that minus, I told you, is what? It means gain. So, that means this atom is going to gain one more. So, to this, it will be what? It will be 18. So, in which your neutron number will be mass number minus atomic number. That's 35 minus 18. And 35 minus 17. That's what? 35 minus 17 will also be what? Will also be 18. And the mass number is obvious here, which is 35. And you also have the nuclear number to also be what? 35. Because they are the same thing with the world, with the mass number. And lastly, lastly, let's talk about the sodium plus. That's 1123. We have this, the atomic number is 11, obvious. Proton number is also 11. But the electron number will not be 11 because this one has plus, and that has 1, plus 1. You can see that plus 1. And plus one, plus means loss in chemistry. That means this atom is going to lose one electron. So if you lose one out of 11, it will be what? 10. So this will be 10. And neutral number will be mass number minus what? Minus atomic number. That's 23 minus 11. That's 12. Mass number here is also obvious to be 23. The mass at neutral num nuclear number is also what? 23 because they are the same thing as mass number. Now, at the comment section, let me have the answer to this one. Now, if you have magnesium 2 plus, magnesium 2 plus, now magnesium 2 plus, magnesium 2 plus, let me help you. You have 12, you have 24. Now, let me have the answer in ratio. Like, you know, you are going to have your answer like your atomic number, comma, proton number, comma, the electron number, comma, then the neutron number, comma, and neutron number, comma, mass number, comma. Then the nuclear number comma. So let me have the answer at the comment section in that format. Tell me the atomic number comma, the proton number comma, electron number comma, the neutron number comma, the mass number and the nuclear number for this magnesium 2 plus 12 and 24. So let me have the others at the words at the comment section. Thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, it should have the blessing by name, popularly known as General David. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on mathematics, physics, and chemistry, including biology. God bless you. Thank you very much.